In this video, I'm going to show you a super effective method to changing the colors of your t-shirt designs in bulk. You can do this in Adobe Photoshop with hundreds or even thousands of designs. And I'm going to show you two different methods. The first one can help you change text-based t-shirt designs from black to white, for example. And the second method completely affects the color scheme of your designs, even with graphics. So for method number one, we're going to take these text designs right here and change their color to white. And there's a couple of things you need to set up before moving into Photoshop. You need one folder that holds all of your designs inside of it, like I've got right here. And you also need a second folder that I've called white in this case, which is completely empty where the new files will be saved into. Once you've got that done, just open up one of the designs inside of Photoshop. I've got my canvas settings right here to the t-shirt design dimensions that we usually find on print and demand websites, 4,500 pixels in width and 5,400 pixels in height. And the first thing you want to do is just hide the background color right here. So we've got this transparent and then we want to bring up in the Windows tab the actions panel right here. You can also click Alt F9 to open this up. We can take it out and make it bigger. Essentially what this actions panel does is it saves what we do, it records it, and then we can repeat those steps automatically instead of having to do it over and over again. So for this first method, all you have to do in the actions panel is click this little plus symbol right here, then give the action a name. So I'm going to call this change color to white, hit record. Then we're going to right click on our design layer, go to blending options, select color overlay right here click into this the blend mode has to be normal and then we can change this to any color we want you could do red do pink you know you could do anything we're going to do it with white in this example you could also alternatively use gradients by the way if you wanted an effect like this for example there's a lot of presets right here in photoshop as well for these gradients so do bear that in mind i'm going to do this example with white so once that's done just hit ok and then we need to head over to file save a copy the folder that you save this in is not very important doesn't make a difference just pick any folder or your desktop it doesn't matter where you save this the file name also doesn't matter but the file type we have to change down here to png and then hit save. I usually select the medium file size option, but either one of the others would work too. And then you can click the stop symbol right here to stop the recording. And now we can repeat this process in bulk, which I'm going to show you also. So now I'm going to delete the design from the layers panel, head over to file automate batch that will bring up a new window here you will essentially want to copy my settings except for a few things that we need to change so where it says action right here you need to select the one you just created should be at the bottom change color to white for the folder we're going to choose the one that holds our original black designs and for the output right here i'm going to choose the folder called white which is currently still empty select this and then we're ready to go just hit ok and now photoshop is going to pull in all of these designs, apply the color overlay and save them into our desired folder. This takes about a second per design. So if you've got a thousand designs, this won't take too long. Um, the problem is you kind of have to keep this open. I think in the background it, it runs a bit slower or it doesn't run as efficiently, but you can still do other stuff on the side monitor quite easily. But yeah, this is a lot of time saved. This was only 10 designs, but if you do it in batches of like 100, it is definitely super beneficial. For method number two, I'm going to change the color scheme of these designs right here entirely. And the setup is the same. I've got one folder called color original that's holding all of these designs. And I've got an empty folder where the new designs or the new color scheme will be saved into. And now I'm going to open one of these designs up inside of Photoshop. I'm going to create a new action down here, name it change color scheme and then hit record. Then at the bottom of the layers panel, I'm going to click this little symbol and choose the gradient map. Make sure the gradient map is above your design layer and then hold down Alt on your keyboard to create a clipping mask like so with this little arrow. That way the gradient map only affects our actual design. And now you need to click into the properties of the gradient map up here and essentially change the gradient to create a new color scheme. This takes a little bit of playing around with, but you've also got a lot of presets right here to go through to help you and provide a starting point for this. So just do this, fiddle around until your color scheme looks nice. So there we go, I'm finished with my changes. I'm going to hit okay now, and then all that's left 
is heading over to file, save a copy, and then save this anywhere on your device with the PNG format selected. Hit OK on the medium file size step and then you can end the action or stop recording down here. Now I'm going to hide the background layer and just hide all of our designs as well. Head over to File, Automate, Batch. Make sure that the action in this case is Change Color Scheme, and then just select the right folders. So I've got Color Original down here as the source, and I've got Color New as the destination folder. And then I'm going to hit OK. As you can see, the designs are getting pulled in again and changed very, very quickly. If you like saving time, make sure to check out this video next where I show you a really powerful AI tool that can help you generate thousands of listings per hour.